Hey, and welcome back to another episode of This Guy's Thoughts. Uh, in the middle of some holiday reviews here on the channel. Don't know what order I'm going to post these up here on the channel, but uh, I've been doing some eggnog. i got some beers going on, some holiday, uh, w winter, Christmas type of beers going on here on the channel. And right now, i got a little bit of eggnog that I have not had uh, three, four, five years probably since I've had this brand of eggnog. Uh, this here is Christian Brothers Eggnog, and they're mostly uh, known for brandy, uh, producing brandies and things like that. I don't know if they even make anything other than brandy. Uh, they do have this eggnog that I see every year. Uh, I picked this up because it was $2 off its normal price of $9.99. I got it for $7.99. Look at their uh, logo there. Just got the uh, eggnog right there with the, what looks to be a cinnamon stick in it. The Christian Brothers CB logo up there. And I have had Christian Brothers uh, Brandy uh, in the past, which isn't too bad. I'm not really a Brandy person, and I've only really had a few different types. Uh, but this here is a 20 proof. It is 10% to alcohol uh, by volume. And it says made with Brandy. Of course, I knew this was going to be made with Brandy with it being Christian Brothers. Um, and it's been, like I said, quite some time uh, since I've had this. I don't even really remember what it tastes like, honestly. Um, so I'll do a quick review here out on the channel. Uh, right here, got the uh, Wally World Christmas Vacation uh, Moose Glass. I like to use this uh, each year, at least since I've had it. I might even film a couple beer reviews in it this year. Who knows? Uh, so, hey, let's crack this open. And uh, see what it's all about. It says Christian Brothers um, since 1882. I'll go ahead and get a pour in there. Very uh, milky uh, looking right here. Now, there's no need to mix this because it already has alcohol in it. However, you want to doctor it up. You want to add some cinnamon into it, some nutmeg, uh, another type of liquor. Go right ahead. Well, that brandy pulls right right through here. Yeah, just a nice, uh, very boozy brandy aroma coming off of this. Very thin, thinness to this here. A little thinner than uh, some, some nogs. Uh, but let's go ahead and get a drink on this. Oh, yeah. This is good. Yeah, holiday nog. It doesn't really say egg nog, it says holiday nog on it. Sorry about all that. So, very light drinking. Uh, almost a milkiness to this. Like a whole milkness to this. Nice uh, alcohol, um, brandy taste to this. I'm not a huge brandy fan, but like I said, like I said, I'm not a huge brandy fan, but you know, I do like to add just a little bit of uh, um, liquor to um, eggnog every once in a while. Anyhow, um, buying this stuff, this pre-made stuff, pre-mixed stuff, um, it's already blended well, and uh, this has a good ratio, and I don't know what what ratio it is, uh, but whatever it is, it's pretty damn good. Nice thinness. Uh, you just hit, uh, you just get enough of the uh, brandy in here that it's not crazy, overwhelming, um, you know, uh, alcoholic, um, what is it? Holiday nog. Let's get another drink on this. Yeah, this is something, man. Just that nice, Brandy aroma, the barrel, you know, uh, aroma that comes off of this here. Just very, very good, very good one. If I'm scoring this, honestly, we'll do a scale of one to ten. Comparing it against some of the other, uh, Evan Williams, um, uh, I don't even know, uh, St. Nick, um, some of the other eggnogs, alcoholic eggnogs that I picked up. This is very nice. Um, not overly boozy, um, which makes it a nice drinker. 
And if it's not boozy enough, just add your own stuff into it to booze it up a little bit. Uh, so a scale from 1 to 10, comparing against other um, alcoholic, or, you know, holiday nogs, egg nogs that have alcohol in it. Honestly, I'm probably good with about a 7.5 out of 10. It's, it's right up there uh, towards the top. Um, very enjoyable drink. Um, honestly, if I dump some uh, nutmeg in here or a little bit of cinnamon and maybe had a cinnamon stick and stirred it up a little bit or candy cane and stirred it up a little bit, it'd probably be pretty darn good. Hey, but anyhow, like, subscribe, comment, uh, check me out on social media, hit that notification bell down below there.